Sweet and Beyond. My name is Ida and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Thanksgiving dinner for two. It is very easy to make. We're, I'm going to show you how to make guava rum stuffed Cornish hens. Here are the ingredients. Okay, here I have my meat stuffing, which is a mixture of ground beef, raisins, apples, these are not potatoes, apples, and bread. I'll show you a link down below or maybe somewhere around here you will see a link on how to make this meat stuffing. Here I have two one pound Cornish hens which I washed, patted dry and then I put them in a brine. I just put about three four tablespoons of salt in a Ziploc bag with water and I dunked them in there and they stayed there overnight that's all I did to them and then I patted them dry we're gonna be using half a stick of unsalted butter about half a cup of guava paste and about this is not water about half a cup of white rum this is all you need for your perfect Thanksgiving dinner for two Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the Cornish hen, we're going to flip it, and we're going to stuff the cavity inside. I separated um, the, the meat stuffing from the big batch because I don't want to contaminate the rest of it, so we just stuff it in. And I'm not going to add any of the, um, any salt because like I said, they were sitting in salt water overnight. So I think they're good. Plus the guava rum glaze that we're going to put on top. This is so simple to make because you can make the, um, the meat stuffing the day before and just keep it in the fridge. See? Just like that. We're just going to stuff it. Not that much. So now let's go on to the next one. This is a very cute dinner that you can make if it's only the two of you or if you if you have small kids you know you don't want to make a big turkey this is an ideal recipe for you and each one of these little hens I think cost me 250 each so it's not that bad so now we're just going to stuff them we're going to put them in a baking dish and then we're going to go on to the next step Okay, so this is how they look. I didn't have twine to wrap the little legs together. So I used um, a kebab stick that I cut it and I just put it between the legs just like that. See, so it's nice and tidy. Now on to the rum guava sauce. Okay, so my butter is melted and I'm going to, and this is at a four. So medium, low. I'm going to slowly melt the guava in the butter okay so now the butter and the guava are melted together now we're going to add the rum and we're going to stir at medium remember this can over boil boil because you'll get oh, it smells so good so now we're just going to mix it together let it cool off a little bit and then I'll show you the next step. It will be a good time now to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Look how beautiful my rum guava sauce turned out. My husband is loving this so much. <laughs> he hates guava. He says he wants to puke right now, but it tastes amazing. I just tasted it. So remember, your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees. So now we're just going to brush our guava sauce all over our little Cornish hen. And we will put this for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes in the oven. But every 20 minutes or so, just go in and brush some barbecues on top so it can make a nice, beautiful glazed crust on it. So remember, 350 degrees wait let me rub it in good <laughs> 350 degrees and every 20 minutes go in and brush it with this glaze so we'll be back when these are done 
so it took an hour and 10 minutes but look at this how beautiful it's like a little mini turkey it is and it smells amazing so you glaze it and this is how it turns out a nice beautiful crust on your um, little Cornish hen so if you like this video you know what to do give it a thumbs up and after this there's going to be a little box that says click to subscribe click on that if you haven't subscribed below I'm going to leave the link on how to make the meat stuffing and relleno de carne I'm going to leave it down below along with all my links to my social media now let's cut into it it's difficult to cut it when I can't see Mm -mm -mm. Oh, let me cut a little piece for myself. There you go. Perfect. It's so nice and tender. And that's because of the brine. So I will leave all the instructions down below. Buen provecho. Oh my goodness. Try it.